guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody, here with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be looking at my pirate ship collection. But before we go any further, let me just say, if you like this video, any other videos on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be getting down into my LEGO pirate ship collection right after my intro coming in here shortly. Rah, jump. Let me just start this video by saying I have to acknowledge the Skull Eye Schooner and the original Imperial flagship from my youth because those were the two ships that I had and even though I no longer have them, they are in this collection in spirit. And as you can see, just the as I'm panning the camera around and you get a look a little idea, some of the ships that I have here. And there are two rows, a front and a back, because I can't, I have so many of them, I can't just line them up in the one single row to, to get one shot into a frame anymore. And I actually haven't done one of these pirate ship uh, videos in quite some time. I figured it was long overdue. And if you guys see any of them in this video that you want to see me, you know, me maybe do a new video on, because I haven't looked at some of them in quite some time and I have a nice new setup uh, for my studio, you know, just put down in the comment section and I can try to make that happen for you guys. And we can kind of go back in depth all over like we did at the beginnings of this channel. So it's kind of be like starting fresh for me and for you guys because I have my new studio set up. And here's a nice shot. You can just kind of see them all lined up. And here's the other side. And I'll be going into each one of these in depthly, you know, a little bit here, a little bit later on in the video. Just kind of giving you guys a quick little overview of all of them. So you can kind of see what is in store. But yeah, I really like these Lego pirate ships. And we're going to start here with these little uh, dinghies with the sails. Um, I have both the red coat and the blue coat one, obviously, but this isn't the correct boat that they go on. My son plays with them, and the flag that's on this one isn't correct either. He changed that out, but uh, it's just mostly that uh, the mast and the sail is what makes uh, this these little ships special. And then from one step up, we have this came with the Lego The Hobbit sets, uh, the Lake Town sets, and it's two of those dinghies that they kind of tied together. It was kind of a unique thing. I actually have a ton of these little dinghies that they used to make this one. And then the next step up here, this came with the Imperial Trading Post. Nice uh, old classic pirate set. And it's a nice little ship. I've always uh, liked this little guy. And super happy to have it here in my collection. And then next up, we have the Armada ship. And just to be upfront with you guys, this is not actually a Lego. This is actually an Enlightened ship. That I actually bought on discount. Got, got a good deal on a bunch of these enlightened ships. And so yeah that's why this one is here in my collection. And it's not a bad little one. You know I mean it's not as good as Lego. The brick qualities no. But I mean it's it's good enough. And I forget how much I paid for it. But it was pretty dirt cheap. And then the next size up. Because I am doing these from smallest to largest. If you haven't caught on quite yet. And this is the three-in-one ship, and I can't show you guys the ship 
together because I have broken it apart and it is for a mock. But we'll get onto that one a little bit later. And then next up is an, another enlightened ship. And again, I know I might get some flack in the comments for some of these enlightened and non Lego brand ships. But I got such a good deal on them. And, it, and I mean, they're brick built ships. And, you know. I think I paid 20 bucks for this thing or something like that. Really dirt cheap. And they look great, you know, with all the other ones. And so why not, you know? It's just bricks. And then here is another Enlightened ship. And this one is actually a smaller, mini -ized, min miniaturized version of the Black Seas Barracuda, the classic uh, Lego ship. And I actually, I took a Sharpie to the sails to make it a red coat ship. Because I just thought it looked good as a red coat ship. And and then next up we have the Brick Bounty. So now we're getting into some good uh, meat and potatoes uh, Lego ships here. And this was released a few years ago. And it is a nice uh, mid-sized ship to add to your collection. And I'm definitely happy to have it in mine. And again, it's a nice mid-sized Lego ship. And... Yeah, I mean, it's the Brick Bounty. Can't go wrong with it. Then next up, we have the Black Pearl. Obviously made famous in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. And this one, again, is more of a mid-sized ship. It is not a super large ship. And again, as I said earlier, if you, if you want me to go in more in-depth to some of these ships, put down in the comments and I can do a full-on video on it. No problem whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, it, this is my Black Pearl, and it might be huge in the movies, but in my LEGO Seas, it's actually kind of a mid-range size ship. And then next up, we have Brickbeard's Bounty. Not to be confused with the Brick Bounty. I know uh, LEGO's kind of went crazy with that name there. And I actually retooled this ship to be a red coat ship. Because I couldn't have two of them, the Brick Bounty and Brick Beard's Bounty. They look so much similar, but just a little bit different color schemes. You know, just a little sh shade of red is a little bit different. Oh, there's some small differences. So I decided it would be better to make this one a red coat ship. And, you know, because you need to have a red coat and a blue coat fleet if you can manage it. And so I do. And then here is another Enlightened ship. And this is a knockoff version of Black Sea's Barracuda. And I actually retooled this ship into a blue coat ship. And it actually has official Imperial flagship sails on it from the newer Imperial flagship. And I just took a blue Sharpie to them to give it that blue and white regal feel. And I've put so much authentic Lego on this thing. It's almost, you know, 50% Lego at this point. But it's still, you know, technically a knockoff or generic or whatever. But again, I think I paid like 30 or 40 bucks for this thing, you know. And then next up, we have another ship from the Pirates of the Caribbean series. And that is the Queen Anne's Revenge. And this is, of course, Blackbeard's ship. And then later on in the films, Barbosa takes it over. And this one, we're starting to get into the larger territories on my Lego Seas, for sure. These, these ones are definitely fearsome and ferocious, and you don't want to encounter them with no dinghy. That's for certain. And then next up... We have the new Black Seas Barracuda that was just released a couple of years ago. And I am just absolutely in love with this ship. To be honest with you guys, this is probably my favorite stock, you know, regular set Lego pirate ship to date. I think it is just a fantastic set. And if you guys missed out on this, you're bumming and, and I feel bad for you guys because this again this is this is the best just regular store-bought Lego pirate ship to date in my humble opinion and then next up we have the Kazi Black Pearl which is a knockoff uh, Chinese brand yes 
that is actually based on the Lego Imperial flagship that just kind of changed the color scheme a little bit. And again, I did a bunch of stuff with it. My wife actually made these sails herself, so it's got custom sails on it. And I've done a bunch of stuff to it because the brick quality of these Kazi bricks is terrible. But I liked the design and the color scheme on this ship a lot. And it's actually more like a model than an actual set. And then next up we have the real Imperial flagship. And now this one I actually decided to retool as my blue coat flagship because it just, with these blue bricks that they incorporated here, it just made it seem like it should be a blue coat ship. So I just decided to go full on with it and make it a blue coat ship. And again, this is just a fantastic set that, you know, most people drool over and for a long long time it was kind of considered one of the best if not the best lego pirate ship but i think some have surpassed it and then next up we have another ship from pirates of the caribbean and this is of course the silent mary the ship that was made famous because it had the ability to like eat and devour other ships which is kind of a fun cool feature that you don't see very often and so, yeah, this was another great uh, ship to add to your collection. And, you know, it's been retired for a little while now, so it's probably a little bit harder to acquire. But, again, this is, as I take it down so you can kind of get a size, you know, view of the full size of it. And it's definitely a big one, that's for sure. And then next up we have my personal pride and joy and that's because this is a ship that I designed and put together myself. It is called the Saint Mary is what I have named it and it is kind of a cross between the Imperial flagship and the Silent Mary. It's kind of the Imperial flagship on the bottom and the Silent Mary on top was the way I designed it. And, you know, this was a lot of work and a lot of thinking and head scratching. And I know it's probably not 100% done, but, you know, I'm pretty happy and satisfied with it. And I always thought it was going to be the biggest ship in my collection. And, but I did find one that surpassed it. And that is my number one largest ship in my collection. And that is, of course, the Flying Dutchman. Now this thing is a mock that was made by Brickstruck.com. I'll put a link right here so you can go and find him. And this thing is definitely more like a model than it is like an actual play set. And just carrying it over to my studio to do the video, I'm telling you guys this thing weighs 15, maybe 20 pounds. And it's over 5,000 pieces of Lego and it is just, it's just an absolute behemoth of a ship and of a Lego set. And I just love it. And since Lego will probably never make an official Flying Dutchman, I'm super, super happy that it is in my collection. I just, I can't speak well enough of this thing and you know go over to brickstruck.com get your instructions and the sales and go make your own and then next up we actually have these are my son's ships because yes he does have some pirate ships some lego pirate ships and i thought it was important for me to show you guys kind of the state they are in and just let you know that this is what it looks like when you have a six-year-old playing with them and I'll let him take it from here. Now we are going to look at Georgie's pirate ships and he's going to do some explaining and tell us all about them. Go ahead Georgie. Here's the Pirate Caribbean. This is my dress for a wolf like Christmas Daddy. And I have a different compass. And it has the same sword. Here's two Jack Spins I always have. Oh, you see my dumb scissors. That one's. Oh, you see my arm one? What happened with that ship? It fell and broke. It fell and broke? Yeah. What happened to your uh, ship back here? Oh. What happened to that it's one? It fell in pieces. I was trying to fix it. You're trying to fix it? Yeah. This one was the only lucky one. This one's the only lucky one? Yeah. This one is the only lucky one. I don't like this. 
Is there anything else you want to say about your pirate ship? That one too, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you had more and they're all broken, don't you? Yeah. Are you gonna fix them someday? Yeah, well, I have I have been working on my blue one. The blue car ship. I want so many more well, Okay. Well you guys heard it there. He's gonna be working on his pirate ships. And We'll see him in the next one. L, that is my video for guys today. Thanks so much for watching. And again, you know, if there's any of these you want me to do more close-ups on, and other than the Flying Dutchman, because I've done that one fairly recently, and it's so heavy and hard to move around. But any of the other ones, let me know, and I'll be happily do a video. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone.